So welcome everybody. I need a female too. I need a female to raise up her hand so that I can be hearing from a male and also a female too. Afis, can you hear me clearly now? Okay, shop with Yes, we can yeah. hear you, boss. It's loud and clear. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. So this night, we are, I said we are going to be more practical this night. So this night we'll be talking about uh, introduction to crypto, like a beginner's guide to crypto and also a beginner's guide to forex. So I don't know uh, how fast we are how fast we are going to go so that we can cover both crypto and forex together so but i pray god will help us so let us uh start so i said the first thing we are going to let me check the the topic is that we are practical aspects of beginner's guide to trade towards trading view i suppose put trading view i'm not supposed to put introduction again. to trading view so now let's go to trading view what did i tell you about trading view yesterday like what analogy did I use? Trading view, is it the store or the market? Someone should tell me. Is it the store or the marketplace? You said it's the store. It's, it's the, the store. Package. So where you package, analyze, do everything. Do you understand? But where do you now take that trade? Where do you place those trades? Take For it crypto, it's the, the market. So example of market in crypto, Example of market in crypto. Um, we have Binance. We have Bybit. Binance, Bybit, exactly. So we have Binance, we have Bybit, like that, like that. So what of example of uh, market in Forex? Example of market in Forex. We have Meta 4, we have Meta 5. Uh -huh. We have uh -huh. Met X Meta 5, MT4, MT5. As Hello. Can you okay, we can see us. Okay, okay. For so down. See set. Okay. So the trading view now. Can you see the trading view? Hmm? Hello, not yet. Am I... Maybe the next no, we can't see it. Not yet. We can't see it. We can't see it. Can you see my screen now? Not yet, sir. Like, I don't see my screen at all. We can't yes, sir. Uh, we are not seeing it. Just, it's just blank, sir. We can't see anything, sir. Wow. Hey guys, hello, please. Can you guys see my screen? Yes, yeah, we can yes, see we are seeing it now. Yes, we are seeing it. Okay, okay, okay. So I said, uh, uh, the sorry, this. Trade view, I asked you to download. Can you see this trade view? You see T and D. 
Then for, for so this is the, our store. This is where we analyze the markets, whether you are a forex trader, whether you are a crypto trader. So this everybody needs this what trading view. Now, if you are a forex trader, so you need MT4 or what MT5, Meta Trader 4 or Meta Trader 5. If you are a crypto trader, if you are a crypto trader, you need you need Bybit or Binance, any of the two. You can download Bybit or download Binance. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. Yes, just go to if you are using iPhone, yeah. go to App Store, then search for search for Binance. You are going to see it. Binance. You are going to see it. Can you see it? Binance. Can you see Binance? Also buy bits. Also BitGet. All these ones are things that you can you can use that trust what this is like a wallet. It's just like a pop. You cannot buy or sell inside your post. You have to take the money. Post. Do you understand? So, so this one is just a wallet. You cannot trade on trust wallet. Anything called wallet, you cannot trade there. But exchanges such as like this BitGet, like this Bybit, like this Binance, you can actually trade there. For crypto traders, do you understand? Yes. Yes. Am I out? Now we yes. establish yes. some. Yes. Establish something that for whether you are a crypto trader or you are a forex trader, people will have to approach and trading view now trading. So if you are a crypto, see another thing we will pass to as well. Maybe Binance or Bybit, but for uh, you need one pass to have Meta Trader Four or Meta Trader Five. Now I'm waiting for the network to load. The network has really been dealing with me for. Uh, let's just so let's talk. Come. It's always. Okay. Can I see my screen? Yes, you can see it. Okay. So now this is okay. This is trading view. You have put the trading, you open the trading view. Trading view. You can sign up. Of you can to sign up. You understand? Just put your email and your password. You understand? Then you'll be you'll be able to sign up. You don't need to subscribe. Maybe you don't need to pay for anything do you understand on trading on trading view is free the signing is free now if you sign up immediately you sign up if you bring something like this for you if you bring something if you bring something like this for you so what do you do the next thing you do is that what after you sign up bring something like this for you so after that you now try to say like like i can remove all this let's say you want to delete something so you see a lot of things here do you understand? So you can delete it. How can you delete? Just click on it like this. So if you click like long press on it, once you long press, you see remove. Do you understand? So I can remove this. I can remove this one too. I can remove this. 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 I saw on this one too, this one too, this one too, this one too. This one too. So once you've removed everything like that, what's the next thing? So you can now be adding anything that you want. Do you understand? For crypto traders, there are like over 6,000 coins that you can analyze. Do you understand? But the commonest one that we can just start with the commonest ones that you must know Bitcoin, we have Ethereum, Solana. Do you understand? So you can. I just come to this plus sign and add any coin that you want. If it is Forex you want to, you can add any currency pair that you want. So you can add a uh, GBP USD, you can add Euro USD, and so on and so on like that. So in this video, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be adding just two, two crypto and also two Forex. So that if you want to go to crypto, you know how to add. If you want to go to Forex, you know how to add. It's not something that is very, very difficult at all. Guys, you can click on this add symbol or click on this plus sign. 
Do you understand? So if I click on this plus sign now, I can search. What do I want? What do I want? USD, BTC, USDT. Now, crypto trader, eh? Always use USDT. Like all the coins that we are using, is always slashed against USDT. Do you understand? You so can you see BTC USDT? You get so just click on this ad. Now another thing is that since we want to be trading, whether we are in uptrend or downtrend, we want to trade in any market. Do you understand? So is part contract will be trading, meaning that the BTC that we are buying, we are just trading the price of that particular uh, coin. Do you understand? So it's perpetual. That's the features aspect. So if after you've written BTC, you are now put, you see perpetual. So can you see BTC USDT? So is this BTC USDT that you should trade? Like this BTC USDT spot now, the price is, let me use this one as an example. Look at it. BTC USDT. This one is perpetual contract. Let me add. That you what very about this one. So let's teach Hey, let's work. So BTC. Spot oh, God. Am I audible? Yes. Yes, I'm audible. Okay. okay. So this is the USDCP. Okay, look at this thing now. You see that this one is BTC UAE spot, right? And this one, the price is as well, 59,591. You understand? But look at this one, BTC USDT dot P. You can see that 59,563. You can see like some difference. Do you understand? So it's from Perpetua. And you want to be trading. So you should be using what Perpetua contract. In case you are, you are targeting sniper entry. We'll get to a point that I'll be teaching you how to target sniper entry. Sniper entry means that the trade will pick you without even you having any loss. Like you are not going to see any negative. You understand? The trade and it starts seeing profits. I will teach you sniper entry. So that's that. If the analysis will pick you, the market may not pick you or make you go its stop loss because of what different price changes. Do you understand? So I'm going to be removing this one now. So I'm concerned with what it's USDT perpetual contract. So I say, let me add what ETH to ETH. I say, if it is crypto, always put what USDT. Do you understand? So perpetual. So can you see ETH USDT perpetual contract? So I've added them. I want, I want to add to uh, Forex too. So I can add both. I can Zao USD for you to know that this thing is forex. So you see USD, there's no T there. If you are seeing USD, that is crypto. So Zao USD, that's um, let me GPP, GPP, USD, that is, sorry, GPUSD, GPP. All these things, can you see that on my board is watch list, like list of coins, coins I'm watching that I want to enter it in order to make profit. I want to analyze them to make profit. Do you understand now? So let's check this one. Just we are just trying to navigate. Do you understand? Just trying to navigate through our this thing. Through our this one, you don't need to press it, it's nothing. This one is to add coins. What does these three dots mean? If you want to edit, if you want to sort it, 
that okay, this one is crypto, this one is forex. You understand? So, but what you are majorly concerned about is what is this plus sign for you to add your what your coins. Do you understand now? Are we on the same page? Are we on the same page? Yes, yes. Yes, we are on the same page. So, thank you. So we are we are done with this what with this watch list. Now we are we are left with what chat, explore, ideas, and menu. So let this chat is what we are concerned about. This chat is what we are concerned about. That's where we are going to do all our analysis and everything. Because I told you something that anything that involves chat is what what kind of what kind of analysis is that? Anything that involves chat and can be six technical analysis. So this is where we analysis. so now this menu. And thank you. So this menu, nothing really concern you with that one. So this one is just like telling you the your basic this thing. You want to change from white to let's say you want to change it from white. You want to be using dark color, which me I don't like. But I need the first uh sign up self is dark color, dark dim. You are going to see so you can change it. Just once you come to this menu, come to this yes. so come to the settings. Once you tells you watch this chat thing do you understand so you can change your this one whether you want it white light or you want it dark let's change it to dark and see what i'm talking about so can you see dark now but if i open dark you will not be able to see a lot of things that i want you to actually get do you understand so i will come back and change it to what to light back so change it to you see that this one is more clearer this one is more clearer am i am i making sense Am I yes. making sense? Yes, yes, yes. So that's that about that about men. So the next thing that we are concerned about is ideas. This ideas is just like if you want to read anything. Do you understand? This one they always like try as much as to educate you. Do you understand? So it's just like education. Everybody is writing things. Just the way they, they trade on on Twitter. The same way everybody. Some people used to use this thing too. Do you understand? So they, 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 they used to write here. Maybe if you want to understand the psychology of understanding investors emotion during market cycle, there are different emotions. So there is state of complacency, anxiety, denial, panic, capitulation, anger, like you bought coin here is now here. So at this age, at this stage of the market, you'll be angry. As the market is going lower, you'll be depressed. There will be fear for you to sell the market. Do you understand? Then Later, we will come back up. You'll be in a state of disbelief that I cannot believe this thing. It means the market has gone back, went back up. Do you understand? So, if you want to read, this one is just about reading, 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 just educating you. That's what ideas is about. Every trader trying to what, share their ideas and opinions about the market. So, what does the explore talks about? So, this is. How far now? So this explore, this explore too, nothing concern you with the explore, nothing concern you. Do you understand? So what you are concerned about is the word chat. Someone should repeat, repeat after me. What are you concerned about? Chat. 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 Thank you very much. So I think at this point, I've already exhausted what you are supposed to know about trading view for you, right? You don't, you've known what this thing means. You know how to add your coins. Any coin that you want to analyze, you know how to analyze, add any that you want to analyze, right? Right? Yes, sir. Yes. And you know yes, what this menu is, what is used for from light to uh, to dark. Do you understand? Ideas. This one, maybe you want to read. You just want to educate yourself. A lot of people share their ideas. A lot of traders share their opinions about, like, educate for education as ideas. Explore. Nothing concerns you with that one. Concern. So what we are majorly concerned about is what chat. So let's open the chat. Now we've opened the chat. You are going to see something like this. You are going to see something like this. Do you understand? You, own, you might see a lot of things. Like all this, you can see, you might see a lot of things. Like, like you see some volume here. If you see volume there, let me see if I can add it. If you, if you open your own, you are going to see, you are going to see volume. something like on your own chat so just you can click on it once you click on this can you see as i click on this indicator you can see i can hide it or do the settings or delete it can you see delete i can click on delete i've, I've deleted it 
Now look at now. I'm making it look convincing. I have one chat here. I still have another chat here. Just click on this one. Too. Just click on it. Once you click on it, so come back up. Can you see up? You can see delete uh, settings if you want to hide it. So let's just click on what on delete. Can you see that you cannot see there again? Do you understand? So anything that you don't want on your on your screen, you can just click on there. Once you click on them, it should bring maybe you want to hide it. Hide me. That I logo. So if you want to hide it or you want to delete it, delete it, you see the delete it because then logo there. Yeah. So you can pick anyone that you like. Now, now I've already done my own. I have something that is very sweet like this now. So now this one is telling me that what I'm analyzing what Bitcoin USDT. I'm analyzing BTC USDT. Now look at all these things. This one is also telling me that I'm analyzing what BTC USDT. I've already explained what is for now for this part this one it means i'm on what i'm on one hour time frame so this one concerns it talks about what time frame is important so just click on it like click on it so deep it's deep m it the other time five minutes or yes do you understand? So this is what one day time frame. That is, each candle represents what happens in a day. Each candle, uh, day. Do you understand? Five days. This one talks about each candle represents what happens in five days. Each candle represents what happens in five days. Just like a week. You know, in five days make a week now. So one month time frame. This one talks about what happens in that particular month. Like just one single candle or one month time frame means what happens in the month of August. The month of October, the month, do you understand? So like that, like that. So three months means what quarter. Do you understand? In a first in a quarter, what happens like that, like that, like that. Now look at this one. We also have one second time so we have time frame, ten seconds of time frames. We have minutes time frame, one minute time frame, two minutes, five minutes, and everything time frame. We have hours time frame. We have this time frame. Now, what does this time frame? What are we concerned about? We are concerned about time time frame are divided into two. We are concerned about that time frame are divided into two. We have higher time frame and lower time frame. What do I say? We have what and what? Higher time frame and lower time, time frame. And lower time frame. Exactly. So we have higher time frame and lower time frame. Now that higher time frame can also be some people who can call it some some YouTube channel, some mentors, some uh, traders can call it external time frame. External time frame, higher time frame, external time frame. Why lower time frame? Internal time frame. Just like the name external, it's showing us what like the background, the overview of what is really really happening. Do you understand? But internal time or lower time frame that you are going inside, like you are going in total, like you see the bit you around am I making sense? Am I making sense? Yes, yes, boss. So is there any any confusion? Can I go not to any issues? Okay, so now I said time frame, two types of time frame. What and what? I have time frame. I have time frame. And we say time frame can also be called what? External time frame. And lower time frame can also be called internal time frame. Internal time frame. Right? Yes. So that one gets you. Now, what are higher time frames? What are the uh, um, this thing that we see? Like, what are the time frames that we classify as higher time frames? What are the um, time frames that we classify as what lower time frames? So, you see, from this one hour, from this one, and like all these hours come down, like one hour, two hour, one day, from this one hour come down, we refer to them as what higher time frame. Are you? But I now from this place, from this forty-five minutes, 
six and seconds to refer that one to as well. That one is for slower time frame. Five minutes, fifteen minutes, and see it's like this. Just do it like this. Scroll it. You see five minutes, three minutes, two minutes, one minute, and seconds. All these ones are what are lower time frame. Am I making sense? Am I making sense? Yes, yes, sir. yes. So now, among all this, is it now that as a trader, is it all these higher time frames that we use? As a trader, is it all these lower time frames that we use? Now, for one particular strategy, one that's teaching you, the different time frame that I use in higher time frame is one hour uh, four hours. What do I use? One hour and four hours. Are, are we are we okay with that? Yes, you are with him. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Now, for lower time frame, what do I use? For lower time frame, I just use 15 minutes and one minute. I use 15 minutes time frame and what? And one minute time frame. So like that, get my strategy is SMC, smart money trader. I notice, okay, what are the smart, what are the institutional banks? What has that using money to enter the profit? Enter with the intention that they want to rock all, to rock all that all of are in loss. You take like, I want you to be free. For you to be like where they are making money, you too, you want to be making money from there. Obviously, you are not going to be give, keeping your money with them again. Do you understand? So that's why they always look for a way to always have an edge over you. When you see that you are losing money too much, you'll be like, ah, it's better I keep my money in bank. And I'm seeing like two or three, three, I'm going to be too much. So, but if you are a smart trader, you'll be like, okay, when these banks, when this government, when these institutional people, when they enter with the big boys, when they enter the market, why don't I enter there? To me, a slap, yeah, or small fish. Why don't I enter when the waves, when uh, big, big uh, market, I enter, I enter the market? Do you understand? But my own strategy, that's what I said. I said this one, like that, that was yesterday, that if I teach you, you two, you will not go and sit down with it. Due to constant practice, you'll be like, ah, I told you this, 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 this. But what me, what like I'm very, uh, what works for me personally is this and this. So you are going to uh, neglect the this and this that you are going to work for this and this. Are you with me? So yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. 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 Journey. Trading is a kind of journey. But the thing is that when you stand on the shoulder of giants, like people that have experience, you tend to see more and you are not to make some unnecessary, unnecessary mistake. Do you understand? But still, it doesn't mean you are not going to lose money. And still, on still, it doesn't mean you are profit. Still, still, as someone, person, um, it's not, um, I built my ad better than my, my thing that put me on. I'm better off than in And I've seen that I, I'm not even like, I'm not in their caliber at all. Like they've gone far, 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 far than me. You understand? So these fingers that you are seeing is not equal. The level of ad work put in. Show that is a last but this strategy K I K I S S. Excuse my, my very dear friend. Come, let me kiss you. So, in this key strategy, what it means is that P is short and simple. And 
we have the indicators like there are a lot of indicators when i started when I, when we start when i start showing you indicators you are going to see a lot of indicators we are not going to bore you with a lot all those indicators there are some indicators that are no more working again do you understand so that's because i'm a trader so what works what doesn't work that's why i can tell that okay this one we are going to use we work with this one we are going to work do you understand so that's key strategy keeping it short as what you need is what you need now in that SMC, there are a lot of terminologies buy sell liquidity sell side liquidity uh pdres something something a lot of total soup a lot of terminologies but if we, school is hard for us we say you don't we don't want to study this school school is hard why this thing that will give us money there are some people that is just two lines they will draw and they are making mad money but you, you are doing this doing that you, are, you know everything about the market you are a graphics designer you are not a trader so don't because if you know too much said it's not going to allow us to be some doubt that ah, this it can be this it can be this it can be this so in decision we set in fear we set in doubt we set in and when doubt sets in and you are, you are, once you can't trust your analysis just know that the analysis is going to be plus. so and those are small small mistakes that you see a lot of traders some people they would find all of the time frames are not consistent with one particular time frame no as a trader you must have a very strategy that you work with and you must be rigid with that strategy your x if you see x equals to y i want to long if i see x equals to z i want to short do you understand so that's why your time frame the time frame that i use higher time frame that i, I use those one hour and what one hour and what and four hours and four hours thank you very much then for lower time frame what time frame do i use what and what one minute, Three minute and, and one minute. minute thank you very much so i think we are done with that time frames now do you understand but if anybody wants to this, you like anybody wants to think that see if you actually know what you are doing or not, so they be like, okay, so time frame you have to analyze this on two hour time frame. You are already knowing that it's on higher time frame that is analyzing it. Do you understand? So that's that about time frame. Now, what is now the rule? What is the what is the uh rule? yes, snow about one hour time frame? So you can just rule of trading ROT for time frames. ROT rule, rule of trading for time frames is that you start from higher time frame, start from higher time frame, like start to high from higher time frame. Do you understand? Then lower time frame. Relating to lower time. Have you seen? Have you seen that? Yeah. Sorry, sorry, you call it again, please, sir. I said, I have and refine my free. Sorry, I'm not hearing you again. Sir? Sir, we can't hear you, sir. Please, sir. We can't hear you. It's, 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 the voice is cracking. Can I continue? Hmm. Your voice is cracking. Hello. Is yeah, there anybody you. that can hear me? Uh, okay, we can hear you now. Yes, yeah, we are hearing you now. We are hearing you. 
Higher time frame. I would say higher time frame analysis is more reliable than lower time frame analysis. Able than lower time. You can't hear really, yes, sir. The, yeah, no, yeah, the yeah. network is bad, sir. The network is very well. bad. It's just clapping. Now, but no. What up now? Nobody can hear me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, you can hear me now. Okay. So, yeah. okay. Yeah, no, yes, we can so hear where did I stop? We're talking about time time frame. Yeah, talking, okay. about, talking about time frame. Okay. okay. I said the higher time frame. Eh? The higher time frame analysis is more reliable than lower time frame analysis. That is why you must start from what higher time frame. Then you can now refine to what to lower time frame. See, for example, now are you with me? Yes, sir. Yeah. We are, are with you, sir. Me? Okay. Now look at yeah. this thing now. This particular candle that I want to mark up, map out. So you guys can still see my screen. Yes, we are seeing it, sir. Mm. Sir, so we can see. Okay. Okay. Now, look at this particular candle that I map out. Just this single candle that I map out. You know, if I go to um, 15 minutes time frame now, I'm going to see four candles there. 15 minutes time frame will show me four candles because 15 plus 15, 30 plus 15, 45 plus 15, 60. And 60 minutes make one hour. Do you understand? So you are going to see four things there. So can you see the four candles? One, two, three, four. So now, if you now see this one now, if you see this one, you'll be like, ah, this market is going up already. Oh. Let me let me long it. Because you see that the market will first come down, then it will start going up. Ah, this market is going up already. Oh. Let me quickly long. But what happened? The market came down, came down, came down. Do you understand? So that's that about that. So that's why you must start from higher time frame. You can now refine to what? To lower time frame do you understand so that's that about that so another thing is that if you have four hour time frame now for each coin what if i'm on four hour time frame what it means is that this candle is on four hours this candle was printed in four hours this candle was printed in four hours this candle was printed in four hours now look at this particular candle that is forming presently now 
look at this country that is forming presently for you to show you that it has already from it has been forming in the past one hour so it remains three hours eight minutes before you can finish before it will finish forming this particular country do you understand now do you understand it now yes, yes understand, sir. so that's that about time frames so any question on time frame before i continue Um, this trading view is it free? Yes. Can we download freely on them? This is free. free. Yes, they it's, ask it's free. Of that. course. Okay. There is there is paid one, but you don't need paid one. You don't need it at all. I've been trading for years now, and I'm I'm not using the paid one. Do you understand? You can use it. Is free once you download it. Yeah, sign up. The free one. The free one. Eh? Yeah. Hello, sir. Yeah. How can we differentiate the paid and the free one? See, come see this menu. Once I click on this menu, so look at you see it is the basic. Do you understand? If I want to subscribe, it's like subscription. The paid one is just like subscription. The way uh, audio mark is Apple Music is do you understand? Audio mark, for example. You know audio mark, you can be using it for free. You understand? What is just there that you'll be seeing some some small, small ads, and that one doesn't you can cancel at the do you understand? You can cancel ads. There is no even ads in this one. You can see some ads there. You can cancel it. So that's just it. There is no. It's not as if there is premium. There is paid. No. Am I? Am I? Am I good to go? Yes, are good yes, to go? we are good to go, sir. So we've talked about time frame. Now let's go to this plus sign. What does this plus sign mean? Click on the plus so you can see drawings, FX indicators, alerts, compare, templates, remove from watch list. All this one does not concern you with this one. Let's say I want to share, like I finish anal analyzing. Do you understand? If you like, you can just screenshot your analysis. Just screenshot your analysis. Bah. You see, it has been screenshotted. Do you understand? Or you just come to this plus and click on what share picture. Just click on share picture. You see, do I want to save this image? I can save it. You understand? Allow trading view to add to your photos. Allow. You see, it has been saved to my gallery. That is what the save picture is about. Do you understand? So this one, nothing concern you. Templates, nothing concern you. Compo compare, nothing concern you. Alert, nothing concern you. Now you are concerned about FX indicators and drawings. FX indicators and drawings. So now indicators. What does indicator mean? There is a um, in one of our like in our outline. I will talk about indicators. The one that we are using, the one that we are not using again. Do you understand? So for indicators, there are a lot of indicators, like thousands of indicators. So any indicator that you know how to use, let's say it is my or you can just come this way you add it to your chart just come to fx indicator once you click on then you search the indicators that you want you can see a lot of indicators. a lot of indicators. a lot a whole lot of indicators so, so we have to, you just search the one that you want to put there let's say i want to put let's say my D indicator now mark D. So you can you see the moving average convergence divergence mark this strategy you can add anyone so once you see it just click on it once once you click on it once it will be added to your chart so look at it i want to click on it once now i've clicked on it can you see moving average divergence to your words to your chart you can now come back here then close it so can you see it now can you see the moving average indicator and if you want to remove it just click on it just click on it i've clicked on it can you see delete i can click on the delete are we good to go so that's how to add indicator to your words to your chart do you understand that's how to add indicator to your chart now this drawing uh, this... hello sir yeah i'm with you yeah. um what is the what is the usefulness of the indicators on on the chart okay thank you very much indicators just from the name it indicates like it's just like a signal 
You understand? Like they don't already the indicators. There are a lot of indicators. There are some indicators that let me add this thing now. Let me add this. This let me add maybe RSI. Let me add maybe RSI. So there are different indicators, a lot of indicators. I want to add this RSI now. Relative index in this, it has been added. So can you see it's loading? So this RSI, that one, if this blue, this blue is at 51.23. So once it's 30, once it is at 30, you should long. That's how we use this RSI indicator. Once it is at 30, you should long. That is by the market. Predict that the market should go up. Once it is at 70, you should short. You understand? You should short. That's how we use it. It had touched 30, but this one actually bought more than 30. Like it sold more than 30. It started long. Ago. So let's see. You see that it touched 70. What happened? It came down. Once it touched 32, it's going to. Do you understand? So that's that about uh, indicator. It will, it will just signal that, okay, you should do this, you should, you should do that. So there are a lot of indicators, and all of them has different ways they are being used. Do you understand? So just click on what? You are welcome. Yeah. Then if you want to know more about indicator, like you want to read about a particular indicator so that you can know its usefulness and how it is being used. So just click on here. Uh, click on sorry, click on this plus. Then click on FX indicator. Then let's say this 24 hour volume. I want to know about it. This question mark that you are seeing, all this question mark, they are telling you about how that indicator was formed, what is the usefulness, and how to use it. Do you understand? So just click on this question mark. So you see, it's loading to give me so can you see knowledge between 24 hour indicator. What does it mean? The definition. It will tell me the definition. What is the calculation? But nothing concerned with the calculation. They've already done the calculation for you. Do you understand? What to look for? This is what you have to look for. If you want to make the settings, this is the settings. So what is the target currency? They use it for all this kind of what? Currency. Do you understand? So that's just how it is. Am I making sense? Yes, boss. Yes, sir. I'm making sense, sir. Do you see the indicators means now? Hmm? Yeah. Eh? Okay. Yeah. Now these drawings, these drawings has a lot of things you want to analyze. This one is what we are majorly, majorly concerned about. Drawings. These drawings, you see that is having yeah, pencil. Sign. They, I'm coming. This pencil sign, they now brought it out single like somewhere. These drawings, you can see it here. Can you see? these drawings so these drawings has a lot of things we are going to be talking about this and the ones that you need oh yeah what's your question what's your question can you guys hear me i did now yes sir yes sir we can hear you sir okay so now let's go to uh what these drawings what it entails there are a lot of things on these drawings you can measure you can lock your chart. You can lock drawing that you draw. A lot of things. You can remove, let's say, indicator or what you've drawn. You can remove it or remove both. You understand? You can hide some things. A lot, a lot. You can erase some things. A lot like that. Do you understand? Now, there's something we call favorite. That is, you just pick out the ones that you need. Do you understand? Because it's not all the charts, all the... Uh, all the drawings that you need now for this trend line session now there's trend line session there's gan and fibonacci tools there's geometric shape tools there's annotation tools there's pattern tools forecasting and measurement then visuals do you understand so for this trend line tool so you need trend line you need trend line so just click like long press it once you long press it this will have do you want to add it to favorites or remove from favorites so you can add on favorites? Once you add to favorites, you come up. So look at this one now. In full, I have not added it. If I click on what add to favorites now, you are going to see it in my favorites. Can you see it in my favorite? But I don't need it in my favorites. So let me just remove it. Remove from favorites. Do you understand? So what you just need basically in these trend lines, you need the trend line too. 
this particular one. In the GAN and Fibonacci, you need Fibonacci retracement too. In the geometric shape, you need rectangle too. Hmm? You need the rectangle too. In the annotation, you just need text. Maybe you want to tell me this resistance, this support, you need text. For the patterns, there's nothing concern you with the patterns. For the forecasting and measurements, you need the long position too and the short position too. So you can add all of them to your what? To your favorites. So they are all your favorites now. Now all everything that I have, I've added to my favorite, that's what they brought to my tree. You can see it in my tree now. Do you understand? So what does it mean? How do you use it? Like this horizontal tool now, it's help you to draw a horizontal line. Perfect horizontal line. You don't need to be like if you are using a trend line now, you be you might be seeing maybe your 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 horizontal line might be might might to mark your straight line for you. Can you see? to mark that straight line for you am i making sense so now if you want to analyze as you want to start yeah. analyzing you are using your phone so not in order to have a wider view what you need to do is that what you need to change your phone to to slant you need to slant your phone slant your phone to make you to see it hey can you see that we can see wider view now can you see we can see wider view now do you understand so in the wider view now. So let me remove all the drawings first. So if you want to draw a straight line, you just carry your horizontal to see horizontal here. You can see the horizontal to here. So you draw a straight line. Can you see this that one is used to draw what? To draw straight line, draw horizontal to is useful. Now, for if I want to short, if I want to short, what for you to know that it is short is that the red aspect. If the red is up, if the red is up, it means I'm shorting. The reason why it is like that is that you know I'm short. You know, so the price is now up. You know, it is what I will be in negative. You see red or that was is long because the red is down. The red is down. Long means that I want to long the market. I want the market to go up. So if the market is now coming down, it means it's not respecting what I told the market to do. What you have, I will be in loss. Do you understand? Is a do you understand the long and short now? The network is really bad, boss. Sir, the network is bad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what's your question? I'm, I'm coming. What's your question? You said when the red is lo is long, that means it's becoming shortage of the market, right? But no. when I said were... did, no, no. No, 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 I said, okay. if, I said, if the red is up, like, look at this thing now, it's not the same thing. See this thing and this thing. It's not the same yes. thing. I'm seeing red up on this one, green on the downside. I'm seeing green on the upside yes. here. I'm seeing red on the downside. Now, this thing, this particular one is telling me that I want to short the market. If you see it, I want to short. Because why is it that I want to short? It means I'm, I want to, I'm predicting and I'm hoping that the market will for the market is coming down. It's doing what I want it to. I mean profit. Green means profit. Red means loss. Do you understand? Look at this one. I like this. 
it means I am in profit. Do you understand? Hello? Your network is very poor. The network is not functioning well. We are not we are not really getting it. Hello, yeah, we can get you. Can hear you, you but yeah. the network is not really stable. Okay, I will. But the thing I'm just trying to. Hello. Hello. Yes, boss. Yes, we can hear you. Hello, sir. Hmm. Now. We cannot even see your screen again. Is what uh, the network is very fluctuating. The chat is not showing again. Okay, I'm come. What about now? What about now? Still not showing yet. Now, you showing, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Network is network is so this thing, these two things. Now look at this thing. We are this is a green and this is it's red green, meaning that it's shocking.
what is is down trend like this is for shorting you are saying so if market down being profit if the market is going up you will be right the rates of because it's any you are preaching to out So we can hear it is a I'm sorry, can anyone hear what he's saying? I, I can't hear what he's saying, no. And I'm not even seeing anything on the screen again, sir. Okay, that's why my TV is being at my place, because I can't also see... Uh, yeah. What is it? Yeah. So that's why I'm asking as well that I can't see from here as well. Maybe it's from my place. So. I think his network is very bad. You guys hear me? I can hear you. Huh? We can hear you. Can hear you. Yes, we can hear you. We can hear you. I think the network is very bad. But the thing is that everything about trading is, I've already explained it. So, I the last aspect, you can just like fast forward it once you get the recorded session. I'm going to see the recorded session to you. So, just fast forward it to their play. Or you can rewatch again so that you can the market uh, that my voice is actually cracking do you understand so uh it's already it now to, to, uh, it becomes to redo the uh, internal and external time frames of this once frame lower time frame and what you need here is just 15 minutes and yeah um so i'm going let me finish it now so any other person what's your what's your question um so sir please about that drawing and um that drawing and indicator we're not able to Get it very well. I because because of the station. network, sir. I said that going to the direction will be very clear. We just go. Oh, oh, okay, so, okay sir. Thank you very much, sir. Sir, so, I'll tell you the question, sir. Yes, sir. 
I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay, so yeah, my question is that about the time frame stuff. The one you said, yeah, one hour to um for one one minute to fifteen. Minutes. When is it applied to you? I just time three. I said what well, is one hour four hours time. Oh, okay sir, okay sir. Thank you sir. Last question please. Last question. Yes sir. Okay. okay. One. Uh -huh. What me I want to understand is that now concerning the time frame you explained to us on the both the one hour to four hours time or the one minute uh, one minute to fifteen minutes time is it the we are are we focusing on the time to trade when it like when it is time to trade is the time reading for us. As in, I don't know if you get me. No, no, no. Like, that's I'm not hearing you. Teach your business in form or what in what? Come again. Do you understand now? I'm not hearing you. Uh, you need your question. This each of the kinds are being formed in the network is very bad. Just listen to the is of the candle and if things it might be formed in the um, okay, please, sir. Uh, no, we are not hearing you, but with the little thing I'm trying to get is that the time is is, is used to form the candle, or what are you trying to say? Is really bad. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, um, I want to um, appreciate your. I want to appreciate you for like giving giving us your time to like go through all these things with us. But I will I will speak on behalf of others. If you have any PDFs, like any PDFs, you can share to us. Maybe in the group chat, like maybe you can go through it. Because some of some of do me I personally, I understood. All you said, but I hope I'm speaking on behalf of, of, of for others. So, like, if you have any PDFs, you can drop for us. Please kindly, you know, drop for us. That's my that's what I want to say. Thank you. Thanks so much, brother. Thanks so much for thanks so much. So please, am I the only one that can uh, hear what you're saying? I also can hear what you're saying too. Okay, 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 okay. Same here as well. I think you've 